Hey guys, and I am back with a cruise packing video. Yes, I said I would do this for you guys and I am here to deliver. As some of you may know, I've been talking about this, but yes, in about two to three weeks, I am going on a seven day Caribbean cruise with my husband for our 10 year anniversary and another, another couple is coming along as well, some friends of ours, and I'm excited. Um, so of course I said I was going to do this video because I've seen tons of videos on it and I wanted to kind of give, you know, my taste of what I like to pack or what I plan on packing. Um, our first cruise we went on was back in 2011 so obviously that was a long time ago. So I needed a refresher course, you know, on everything, what to bring, what not to bring. I even went online and printed out like a cruise packing list and have been checking off things that I know I had needed or needed to buy or whatever the case may be. So long story short, uh, my first cruise was a little bit bittersweet. Of course, I had tons of fun, did everything I wanted to do. Um, at that time, we were living up north, so we were not close to a port. Um, so basically went on the cruise came back uh, through the airport my whole entire large size uh, luggage was stolen so of course I was hurt upset anything you can think of I was just crushed pictures everything just gone nothing was ever recovered um, I had to file a complaint with the airline and everything so let's just say they had to write me a very nice check for everything that I had lost but anyway that's behind me now and I'm just still excited for my new adventure coming up so in this video I'm going to share everything with you guys that I'm packing on this cruise and if there's anything that you could recommend for me to take that hey maybe she's forgetting please feel free to let me know let me know down below and let's get right into the video all right guys so I'm going to pretty much start from here and then like work my way over across the bed of everything that I'm taking so here I want to start with this suitcase I found um, at a place if you're here from Texas then you know about Sam Moon they sell apparel shoes luggage all kinds of stuff and I needed a new large piece and I found this for on clearance for only $40 and it's so cute it has it's pink and it's pink and black and with polka dots and it has a bow and it is huge as you can see um, really really big and these are two of the totes I'm deciding on which one to take this will also be my carry-on tote and then when I go on excursions all that type of stuff because I'm not taking any expensive like bags like my never full none of that stuff just for you know me I just don't want to take any of that but I'm leaning towards this bag but if you guys uh, want to help me decide on which bag just leave it in the comment below so starting here these are some things, of course, that I will definitely have in my uh, carry-on with me. So here I have this cute little, like, glittery bag. I believe I bought this during, like, Christmas time at Walmart, and I used it as a makeup bag before. But this is going to be my pretty much walking pharmacy the whole time we're gone, and I'll even be adding some more, like, medicine, headache stuff, you know, just to be safe. So as you know, this obviously is a small little first aid kit that I got from I believe Dollar Tree or somewhere like that which has like band-aids, gauze, alcohol pads and stuff in there because we are going to be doing some excursions. Also I have in here this little mini laundry bag but it's actually folded up into this other little baggie and these you can f it's by the brand I'm not going to try to pronounce that but these you can find at the container store and they even have like a little hook on it as well and I bought my husband one because we're both obviously uh, you know a week of traveling we're going to have dirty clothes so in here you guys saw probably in a previous video I'm definitely taking Dramamine the less drowsy kind because on my first cruise the first day I did get a little seasick so this will definitely help with motion sickness of course I'm going to be taking sanitizer and probably another one or two just because you always hear these horror stories about cruise ships coming down with like norovirus and all that stuff and when you go to the buffets restaurants you just want to there's thousands of people touching the same things that you are so also I'm bringing all these little mini uh what is it banana bowl sunscreens these were actually on clearance for 48 cent at target and i think i pretty much bought all they had um so these are great for traveling and i still may get a large one for my husband because he's a big guy so he uh, uses quite a bit of sunscreen and stuff so that's 
uh, for my traveling pharmacy. Next, uh, moving on is, of course, I found these at Dollar Tree, are the Lysol disinfecting wipes. And yes, as soon as I get in my cabin, we have an inside cabin, I will definitely be wiping down everything from the counters, the handles, bathroom counters, whatever, um, remote, excuse me, all that type of stuff. Because, you know, there's, like I said, all, you know, outbreaks that can happen. And I just don't want to spend my trip sick. So, you know, they say they have people that clean the rooms, but you just, I'm a germaphobe. So I just don't want to spend any extra time being sick on my trip. This also is a cute little uh, file thing that I found at Dollar Tree. This um, obviously has all of our documents and everything that I've printed out, like birth certificates, all that stuff in there. And it was cute because it came with little tabs, um, you know, the information for our shore excursions that we're doing. And this is so much better than carrying like a big, large, like bulky manila folder around. So this will also go in my uh, carry on as well. Also, um, I'm going to be taking these clips because if you're on deck on top of the boat, it is very windy and these are clips to clip down your towel so your towel won't blow away. And this is a pack of six. Also, obviously, I'm taking my camera charger and obviously my camera that I'm recording on. Also, my selfie stick because I want to get, you know, everybody in the shots. Like I said, we're going with another couple. And, yeah, just want to get capture all the memories. Also, a little cute black blinged out lanyard because I want to keep, like, my pass and stuff on here. So, that's what I'm going to be doing with that. And I found this at the 99 cent store. So, I think that's, like, cute and chic at the same time. Next, I'm going to go ahead and jump into all the clothing and stuff and kind of do, you know, everything that I'm taking. So on this particular cruise, we're going for seven days and six nights and our cruise um, will be having two formal nights. So I'm wearing dresses on the two formal nights. So what you would call like a captain's night or whatever. So I have a black midi length dress here which i am taking still has the tags on it because you know when you go on vacation you just want to buy like all new stuff and sorry i'm like all out of so it's like v-neck kind of like that with a collar and then it's like split at the bottom also i'm taking this other midi link dress which i ordered from new york and company and it's sleeveless as well those are the two uh, items for the two former nights. And then some of my other nights, which will just be regular like dinner nights, I'm taking both of these jumpsuits, which I uh, showed you all in a birthday haul. This is like a colorful one. And then of course a black and white one as well. Also, I have some maxi dresses that I'm taking. I'm still debating on this dress, but the other ones for sure I'm taking. Um, which these you've seen in some hauls. These are uh, this is a dress I ordered from Fashion Nova. It's, it's a maxi dress. This is a dress that I uh, bought from a local boutique here in Texas. And yeah, that's it for that dress. Also, I'm debating on maybe wearing this on embarkation day. This is uh, the dress from the Miramiko line from Target that came out earlier this summer. And I couldn't find it in my size and my mom was so sweet she ordered it for me. So yeah, I may wear that on the day we leave. Not sure yet. This is all of the swimwear that I'm taking. This is actually a cover-up. It's like a long sleeve but like thin uh, cover-up from pink, like Victoria's Secret pink, which I thought would be really, really cute. Because you know, a lot of times after you get out of the ocean, it's cold and you want your bathing suit to dry off. Um, so the bathing suits that I'm taking, this is a black top that I found at Route 21. It's a two-piece and then these high-waisted royal blue bottoms to go with that. This is a teal pair of bottoms that I found at Target. And then the top, believe it or not, I ordered it first from Victoria's Secret and then just happened to find these bottoms. So I thought that was a cute little contrast and they match perfectly. Um, also another bathing suit. This is high, black high-waisted bottoms and a cute top I found from Target and it's a two-piece. And this is also a one-piece that I ordered last year from Target as well. So that's one, two, three, four bathing suits that I'm bringing. So I may take out one. I'm not for sure yet. And then I'm going to jump over here 
to tops that I'm bringing. So these are some tank tops and maybe like some tees or something. This is just like a basic little uh, maroon tank top from Old Navy. This is like a eggshell kind of cream colored one from Old Navy. This is a t-shirt that I ordered from New York and Company and it says, I believe, Island Air and Salty Hair, which I thought was cute. Also, this is just like a little throw on dress, just a throw on and then a cute little like black tank top, which of course you need. Up here, I'm bringing, um, I wanna say three pairs of shorts. I have a pair of white shorts that have like a kind of keyhole design that I got from Banana Republic when I went to an outlet. Uh, same Banana Republic shorts, that for these are just a khaki. And these really cute shorts that I found at Express when they were having like their end of summer or whatever something sale a few a uh, few weeks back which i thought were so so cute and over here we're gonna do shoes um of course you guys saw these in a previous video these are my um adidas slides that i plan on bringing just for like throw on sandals or you know when i'm walking around um these over here are some water shoes because we are doing the Duns River Falls climb and of course you need some good water shoes and I found these at Big Lots I think for like nine dollars and they have like the little the hard rubber soles on them this is the only clutch I'm bringing for dinner because obviously it goes with everything that I'm wearing and my mom gave me this like some years ago um it's no fancy name brand or anything uh, but I've always loved, let me see, always loved the inside of this. If I can get it open, oh, the inside of it is purple. Like how pretty is that? And then of course you guys are like, oh my God, what is that? Yes, I am, believe it or not, going to bring my Christian Louboutin Pagals. Um, these I decided I will not, I repeat, I will not be putting these in my check luggage. I will be taking these in my carry-on just because yes, they are very expensive and these were a gift about two years ago from my husband on my anniversary and this is the only dressy shoe that I'll be taking and of course it goes with everything I'll be wearing as far as like nighttime and formal night stuff. So yeah, I'm like, I need to get some wear out of these bad boys because normally for work, I'm just in flats unless it's like a special occasion or something like that. So yeah, so here, uh, these are the packing cubes that I showed you guys in a previous video that I just happened to find at um, TJ Maxx. And of course, I know there's like the different brands like Eagle Creek and all that that they sell on Amazon, but I'm like, well, let me just grab these and make it work. And these are actually by Isaac Mizrahi, which um, I knew he had like a line of stuff out at Target before. And believe it or not, this all, all of this besides the shoes will fit in these packing cubes. Only thing I do have in here is just some underwear, but I'm not going to show you that. And I'll uh, put like some bras and stuff in there. So I'm going to stop recording right here and then I'm going to come back and show you how everything is going to fit in mostly these two cubes right here. Okay. All right, guys. So I'm pretty much packed and ready to go with the exception of a few more items that I have to pack, which will be last minute things. But I still have my little checklist here. I bagged up my Louboutins because they'll go in this carry on all that day of or carry on stuff will be in there also i'm gonna put a swimsuit in there because you know on a cruise it takes maybe a couple hours or so for them to bring your actual luggage to your room these i will most definitely probably wear the day of but i have all my essentials in this bag i decided on this one because it expands and it even has like snaps to cinch the bag in and i got this from victoria's secret like last year so with the suitcase, look at that, everything, and it's so cute because it matches. I didn't even think about that when I got it, but all of my outfits and things are in here. In here, this is like my swimwear with tops and things in here. And like I said, I'm gonna, all I have to do is maybe add some bras to this. My uh, evening clutch fit in here, and eventually when I 
Oh yeah, and then also underneath here is my water shoes for excursions and everything. And this uh, glittery makeup bag I got a few years from Victoria's Secret. All of my cosmetics and makeup will go in here. And yeah, I, I don't plan on taking a whole lot, but I plan on taking only the essentials. At the most, I'm going to try to take one palette obviously there's nothing in here now but this is what i love to travel with and i still have space for you know souvenirs and things i want to bring back for like my girls and things like that also on this suitcase it has a huge zipper pocket goes all the way across here and then i still have look all this huge zipper space here for look souvenirs and a zipper pocket up here as well so plenty of split uh bleh, plenty of space to bring back anything i would like and still be organized and have a great trip so if you guys have any questions or anything on anything that i packed please feel free to shoot me a comment down below and i will see you guys in my next video goodbye Am I wrong?